Welcome to Core Kind today for January 15th, 2020. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of Core Kind right now and give you my opinion on them. Now, this is my opinion. If you want to learn more about these stories, check out the show. It's down below. I'll put a link to each story there in the order I talk about them so you can read about them for yourself and let us know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up because it really helps us. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. Well, a lot's been happening in the last 24 hours, though tomorrow is going to be a really big day. Peacock is going to be announcing details about their new streaming service, which is Comcast's new NBC run streaming service is going to include a bunch of NBC Universal content, some other stuff. Tomorrow's the big media day where they're announcing it. We'll have full coverage here over at corecarsnews.com. So make sure to watch that. It's tomorrow afternoon. Full coverage over at corecarsnews.com. All right, let's get into the news of the day. Starting off with Core Cutting 2.0. This is a little something I wrote up today. I wanted to kind of address a growing trend I've seen in core cutting, and I want to know if you are experiencing this too. The first generation of core cutting was breaking free on TV services. Now, increasingly, I see people wanting to break free of home internet. All right, so I broke free of Comcast or Spectrum or Dish or DirecTV's TV. How do I break free from these overpriced internet services? Increasingly, companies like Amazon, SpaceX, Starry, um, and a host of other companies are launching their own. We just heard that Earthlink is launching a, a high-speed internet, so fixed wireless internet service of their own. Other companies are doing the same to challenge these traditional Comcast Spectrum and more. Very interesting trend here. What we're seeing is the same kind of early movements and core cutting that we saw with TV are now becoming a reality with home internet. 5G, fixed wireless, fiber, low earth orbit satellite internet, and more really could shake up everything. So I'd love to know, are you now seeing a lot, your desire for one to break free from the high cost of home internet? But if you notice a trend, I'm hearing more and more people like, hey, actually maybe I get rid of home internet and I use a Wi-Fi hotspot or I sign up for a third party provider and more. We have a new third party provider where I live and that's becoming more and more common. Studies have shown when there's more providers, prices often come down, speeds often go up, and things like data caps can suddenly vanish. So let me know, how, what do you think about that? To me, this has to be absolutely scary for Comcast and Spectrum. Their big argument against core cutting is like, well, if you cancel TV, we got you on internet, you need internet, so we'll just charge you a lot for internet. But if Amazon, SpaceX, uh, Earthlink, Starry, and the list goes on and on and on, start launching home internet. 5G services, T-Mobile's new home internet service we talked about yesterday, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and more, all are offering a home internet service. That could be really devastating to these companies. It could really put the death nail in them, to be honest with you. So let me know, are you eager to find a new internet provider? How likely would you be to jump ship? Are you happy with your internet provider? Let me know. But I really think this is the start of Corkine 2.0. I think 2020 is going to be the start of that. And we're just getting started. All right, next story up of the day. AT&T TV Now has rolled out 500 hours of DVR storage and a free third stream to select plans. Now, it is important to remember this is for select plans. Not all um, AT&T TV Now plans have this. Primarily grandfather customers. If you're on the grandfather, go big, live a little, and more, you're out of luck. You're not getting these free upgrades. You're still stuck with 20 hours of DVR and two streams unless you want to pay for $5 a month to get an extra third one. But the Plus and Max packages, the two new packages that launched last year, do now include 500 hours of DVR and a free third stream of eight, with AT&T TV now. Now what I find interested with this is it is basically the same settings or the same storage and features as AT&T TV. AT&T TV and AT&T TV now share the same backend. We heard last year that they were rolling out an upgraded new DVR service uh, where they uh, were improving the backend. We saw live TV pausing, rewinding and more come to AT&T TV now. 
now we got 500 hours of DVR and a free third stream. What I do find interested though is at and is not announced this. There was no press release, kind of a little section in their help page, and that's about it. They haven't really gone out there and said, hey, guess what? New features, new interesting stuff. Seems like at and is following Sony's path of doing cool things like this, but not telling anybody. That is one of the reasons I think PlayStation View died. The fact that Sony failed to communicate like, hey, look, here's all these great things we're doing. Maybe we're more money, but we're offering you stuff that others aren't. Now, I know some people said, hey, 500 hours while YouTube TV is unlimited. Well, you know, for 500 hours, that's a lot of storage. The downside to it, though, is it does auto delete after 30 days. So you can store 500 hours, but you're going to lose it after 30 days. So keep that in mind. But let me know, are you an AT&T now customer? Does this change your opinion of the ser service? Does this make you maybe want to give up the go big package to go to maybe max or, um, or the other ones? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, do wish they would offer at least an upgrade option for grandfather customers. Right now, there is no option. You're stuck at 20 hours with no option to get more storage. Hopefully that changes. And let me know what you think. All right. Disney Plus was the most downloaded app in the United States in the fourth quarter. This comes from a report that looked from Sensor Tower, which monitors the app stores of iOS and Android, it's Google Play, to look at the most downloaded apps. According to them, Disney Plus was downloaded 30 million times. That doesn't mean 30 million customers because, for instance, if I have a, if I'm one customer, my wife downloads it on her phone and I download it, that's two downloads. Maybe I put it on a tablet and on my phone. That's two downloads for one account. But 30 million downloads does, and being the most downloaded app of the fourth quarter of 2020, or 2019, does again point to Disney Plus having a really good time of growth, seeing great, strong um, growth of the company overall, of the subscriber base, and as I'm predicted, maybe hit 50 million subscribers by the end of 2020 worldwide. So let me know what you think. How many times did you download the Disney Plus app on iOS or on Android? Let me comment, let me know. All right, speaking of PlayStation View, this is it. We're a little over two weeks from it shutting down and that's it. So if you're still with PlayStation View, you are getting that free month or as much of a free month as you can. I know some people are only getting a few days because of when their billing cycle was. But there are many options to replace it. You really need to start looking at this down in the show notes down below, uh, I have a link to a full breakdown that we created of all your options and trying to do a little comparison to PlayStation View, give you an idea of how it stacks up there to help you pick out a new service. Love to know if you're a PlayStation View subscriber who's already left, where did you go? And if you are th uh, thinking about service, where are you thinking about going? One of the things I thought was surprising in our surveys is that a lot of PlayStation View subscribers said they were just going to go on demand. They weren't intending to replace it with a live TV service. Their thing was like, hey, we got an antenna, we got on demand services. That's it for us. Maybe in football next year, we'll re maybe get YouTube TV or Sling or Hulu or ATT TV now, for example. So let me know what you think and which services you intend to replace it with. And if you need help finding one, check out our post. All right, Starry is a 5G internet service available in places like Boston and Denver and other towns, which offers high-speed internet for just $50 a month with no data cap, wirelessly over the air. Starry has announced that they're trying to partner with more apartment buildings to build Starry into the apartment buildings, and they want your help. If you help them, they're gonna give you free internet for life as long as you live in that building. So Starry is trying to um, build out their network with um, apartment buildings, they have this system where they can integrate it into the building to offer internet very quickly to all the people in the building. If you introduce them to your property manager and they sign up and they allow Starry to install their system, you get free internet for life as long as you live in that building. If you're interested in that, if you're in an apartment, probably even some condo complexes, maybe, check that out. Link in the show notes down below. Starry says, if you help us, we'll help you get free internet for life. All right, 
CenturyLink has settled a deceptive advertising case. So in Oregon, they were sued for what was deemed to be deceptive advertising. And now they're agreed to pay $4 million for their quote, deceptive advertising according to the case. Now this is settled and often um, when these things um, happen, it doesn't mean CenturyLink admitted fault, but they did sell it. They did agree to pay $4 million right there. This is very similar to the case in Washington, which CenturyLink agreed to pay 6.1 million in refunds to their customers um, or who were, um, quote, received deceptive advertising. So check that out. It's nice to see some, you know, truth in advertising being enforced here. Hopefully that continues going forward. Good news for play, uh, Pluto TV fans, two new stations. It's been a little while since we've seen new Pluto TV stations come on live including Tosh.0 and RT America channel are now live on Pluto TV. Leave me a comment, let me know, what's your favorite free Pluto TV channel? What about the other ones? What about IMDB, what about Stir? What's your favorite free content from some of these free services out there, the Roku channel, Zumo TV, and more? Let me know what you think. And that's it for today. A couple reminders again, don't forget tomorrow is the big Peacock event. We'll have full coverage over at corecarsnews.com. Also tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be live here on YouTube answering your core cutting related questions. We're gonna talk all things. I know it's been two weeks since we did one. Thank you everybody who held off while we were at CES. I know sometimes it's never fun when you know CES happens because it kind of screws with our schedule a little bit but it was really great to be out there to see a lot of this stuff, to do a lot. So leave me a comment, let me know, um, maybe what's your biggest story? Do you have a question you wanna ask me, but can't make the Q&A tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern here on our YouTube channel? Leave the question here. I'll collect some of those questions and try to answer them during the Q&A tonight, because I know not everybody can do it. You got church, you got football, basketball, sports events. Maybe you're just going out for dinner with your significant other. Sounds like a good time to me. So I highly, um, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer as many of them. But I highly recommend you join us if you can. Well, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Remember, if you ever have any tips, tricks, deals you find or more, send us an email. Many of our stories come from emails from people like you who went to cordcuttersnews.com, link in the show notes, clicked on the contact us and sent us um, the details that, hey, I found this new feature, I found this great deal. Those kind of emails often end up being our best story. So thank you for everybody who does that. If you are sending in a tip, do me a huge favor. Try to be as detailed as possible. Include a link in it. If it's like an email, just say, hey, I have an email I can forward to you. We'll reply back to you so you can forward that email to one of our email addresses. That's a huge help in us covering this. And a special thank you to everybody who's new here just today, we topped 140,000 subscribers. Unbelievable growth. I cannot believe how fast Core Cars News' YouTube channel has grown since we started doing these daily videos. Thank you to everybody for your support. I really appreciate it. Well, that's it for today. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope I see you tonight. Make sure to check out corecarsnews.com for even more news, tips, tricks, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.